here's what happened in the ramp qualifying races at the YPF Infini MXGP of Patagonia, Argentina. In MX2, the defending champion Andrea Darmo, alongside his teammate Sasha Koonen, as they went through the first couple of corners, Simon Langenfelder was there as well in third or fourth place. And his young teammate, and Mark Antoine Rossi, was right there as well inside the top five or six. But uh, Lucas Koonen and Kai De Wolf around about ninth or tenth through the first few corners. They would have a busy race working their way back towards the front end. Kai De Wolf started his progress first, nipped up the inside of Sasha Koonen to move into third as Langenfelder was challenging. Meanwhile, the Monster Energy Triumph for Mikkel Harup fell spectacularly out of sixth place. It wouldn't be his first off-track excursion either. And Sasha Koonen also fell from eighth. He would eventually come home in ninth place. That was the second one that we saw of Mikkel Harup's incidents. Meanwhile, a heavy landing for Thibaut Beniston allowed Lucas Koonen to advance another position into fourth with about six or seven laps to go and he was really enjoying his time out on the racetrack as well because a lap or so later he'd got alongside and around the outside of Simon Langenfelder to move into third he was eyeing up his teammate then number 74 Kai De Wolf he got the better of him down the back straight that's him closest to us on the bottom here that moved him up into that second place and then he went after Adamo and with a just over a lap to go he threaded his way between Adamo and De Wolf took over the lead. Kai De Wolf followed him through into second place. And when the chequered flag fell, it was an Astan Hasfana 1-2 as Koonen picked up his third career qualifying victory ahead of De Wolf and Adamo. Langenfelder and Beniston rounded out the top five. Here's how it finished then, picking up the 10 points and the championship leader's red plate. Lucas Koonen ahead of his teammate De Wolf with Adamo rounding out the top three. Then it was Langenfelder, Beniston, Rossi, Osterhagen and Bonacorsi. The final couple of points going to Sasha Koonen and Ferruccio Zanchi. Good ride for the Italian Zanchi for Team HRC as well, came from outside the top 20. And the championship, just as it was in the qualifying race, Koonen heads into race one and two on Sunday with the red plate. Because otherwise uh, I will think too much, but uh, no, it was good. Uh, didn't mess my startup, so that was not good. But uh, yeah, after that uh, I, I passed, I passed and I stayed calm. And uh, yeah, after we were on a was really like too aggressive. Like it was hard racing, but we almost hit each other in the air. So it was a bit sketchy, but yeah, we'll see that after the race. In the MXGP Ram qualifying race, it was an explosive start, quite literally. Coming out of the first turn, as Tim Geiser led the way, you'll see it from our overhead view. Ruben Fernandez gets off line here. Yago Kietz has nowhere to go, takes down another couple of riders in the process, and just off the back of the shot there, Brent Van Donick went down hard. Neither of those guys would finish the race. Meanwhile, Jeremy C were tipped over, having just passed Ivo Monticelli. That allowed Monticelli back through, and the 84 of Jeffrey Hurlings. Seaworth picked himself up in eighth. Hurlings would eventually find his way past Monticelli. There was almost deja vu from a couple of years ago, the Dutch Grand Prix. Don't forget, between these two. Just look to the left. Maxim Renault off track ever so slightly, messed up his rhythm through the waves. That allowed Jorge Prado to close in, and by the end of the straight, ran it down the inside, forced the Frenchman wide, and that was Prado up to fourth, Renault down to fifth. Hurlings had found his way into sixth, and Jeremy Siwa made a move on Ivo Monticelli to move into seventh with about five laps to go. Great ride, though, for Monticelli to come home in eighth for MRT Beta. But it was a convincing victory for Tim Geiser ahead of Roman Fevre and Paul Jonas. Jorge Prado running out the top four with Renault behind him in fifth place. Business as usual for Tim Geiser then, who collects the 10 points and the championship leader's red plate heading into the main races on Sunday. Fevre, Jonas and Prado with Renault running out the top five. Hurlings will go to the line six ahead of Siwa and Monticelli. And then behind them, Calvin Volanra, who started 10th, finished ninth, and Valentin Guillaume picking up the final point. And of course, just as it is the first qualifying race of the season, then the championship looks like this, just as we've just finished. Geiser, Fevre, Jonas, Prado, Renault and the rest.
It was good. Actually, we were struggling like free practice, time practice. Uh, the track is sketchy and I was not racing here last, uh, last, uh, last year. So, uh, yeah, in the beginning I had some issues, you know, it's quite sketchy, slippery. But now in the moto I had a good start. Uh, I was in the front and then I make a little gap, uh, control the race. So I was enjoying a lot. So uh, hopefully we can do the same tomorrow.